Fishing News is brought to you by Shoreline Insurance, Navionics, Okuma, Yozori, and the Star Island Yacht Club Shark Tournament. All the players have arrived including fluke, porgies, weakfish, bluefish, striped bass, blowfish, flounder, ling, and out of season sea bass. Combine all that with what looks to be a good weather forecast and it could well shape up to be one of the best fishing weekends of the young season. Now let's check in with News 12 meteorologist Rich Von Olin. Hey fellow anglers, meteorologist uh, Rich Von Olin here at News 12 Long Island Weather Center. Let's take a look at the upcoming weekend and I'm liking what I'm seeing. Uh, nice weekend on the way. It looks like we're going to be in good shape. Uh, water temperatures came up a little bit, but uh, it was kind of a cold week, so a little slow there. Some low to mid 50s. Looks like around Raritan Bay, western side of the Sound, we got some mid 50s. Uh, wave heights for Saturday. This is going to be the pick of the weekend. Looks pretty good. One to two feet, two to four feet. Uh, we got a northwest breeze, a good deal of sunshine. Should be a nice day, so that's your good ocean fishing day. Sunday, I think you'll squeeze in. You know, not bad to start. The morning should be good. The wind arrows, though, more south, southeast in the afternoon, so we start to see a little more of that green, some of the two to four, three to five foot waves coming in late, but you should be able to squeeze it in. Looks pretty good. Overall, though, we should be in pretty good shape in terms of rain, in terms of storms. Finally, a nice, quiet weekend. Nothing much happening. Saturday looks good and dry in the future cast. Uh, you know, a little green Sunday, but it's mainly off to the west and probably won't get in here until about 5, 6, 7 p.m. So the pick of the weekend, Saturday. And I think Sunday should be able to get that in. Good fishing. Enjoy your weekends. Meteorologist Rich Von Allen. Thanks, Rich. And remember, get the latest marine forecast from News 12 Long Island. This week I lost my dad to the terrible disease of Alzheimer's. Hospice Care Network has done a wonderful job keeping him comfortable and peaceful in his final days. June 2nd is the Suffolk Marine Angler's 13th annual Spring Bass Tournament raising money for Hospice Care Network. I encourage anglers to give thanks to the wonderful service they provide by getting involved with this event. Visit SuffolkMarineAnglers.com for more information. On the east end, porgies continue to lead the charge in Peconic Bay with a lot of jumbos and the catches being made by boats fishing southeast of Shelter Island. Fluke fishing range from fair to good this week, especially off the green lawns where most open charter and private crafts have been hitting it hard on a daily basis. The waters off of Greenport are also seeing boats pick away at some quality fluke. In addition to the scup and fluke, weak fish to eight pounds have arrived in very good numbers with a spread of fish from Robbins Island to Jessup's Neck. The fishing reports are brought to you by Orca Coolers. If you're in the market for a cooler that holds ice for days and is reasonably priced, check out Orca Coolers at Marine Mate in Lindenhurst. Now to the reports. From Captry Bait and Tackle and Fuel, we have Brendan Retigliano. Thanks, Tim. Just want to let you guys know that we're still doing great fishing around Captree. Uh, blowfish are still on the pier. Uh, fluke are still on the pier. Um, there's giant bluefish around. Here's a picture of a 12-pounder that uh, was caught on the beach right around Captree. Um, so, guys, this is the time to be fishing. Uh, if you haven't been fishing, get out there because it's awesome. Uh, fluke up to 3.5 pounds on the pier as well as a five pounder I think was the biggest on Captree boats this week. So uh, get out there, get fishing, and uh, there, there's plenty of bass, fluke, and uh, bluefish. And even for the kids, the bluefish again, it's the same thing as last week. So get out there and thanks again and uh, have a good week. From Staten Island, we have Mike Manguel, AKA Mike Sentry. Hey Tim, hey fishermen, hope all is well. Well, I gotta say the bluefish are in full effect, getting cocktail blues from three to five pounds, and some decent sized gators from 10 to 15 pounds. The uh, 10 to 50 pound gators are more on the bay side and on the ocean side and in the rivers and inlets. So if you wanna target smaller blues, hit some of the inlets. That's where you're gonna find some of the cocktail ones, which are pretty good eating. And uh, for striped bass, striped bass season is a little bit slower. Um, ocean sides picking up with some nice big bass up to the 50 pound range which I'll be targeting hopefully tomorrow with that said well enjoy yourself guys a couple days here it's gonna be nice and warm followed by some thunderstorms and showers on Fridays a couple of uh, tournaments this weekend for Saturday and Sunday so give it a shot and have a good time adios 
Raul Ortiz, the urban angler, has been fishing his favorite spot in Staten Island with his friends all by themselves. They had about 20 to 30 fish in the 10 to 25 pound range on the incoming tide. Nice job, urban angler. Now let's go to the North Shore. Thanks, Tim. Aloha! I'm Hawaiian Dan of TalkFishTV.com, reporting off the central north shore of Long Island for the Fisherman Magazine, and I have to tell you, I absolutely miss you strong islanders. So everybody, welcome back. It's early spring right now, and the schoolie stripers are in town. The key is to size down. Nothing bigger than, say, a two to three inch profile tops. Match the hatch. You're guaranteed to have tons of fun. If you are a fly fisherman, now is the time for you. So until next week, this is Hawaiian Dan from TalkFishTV.com signing out. Now back to Utah. Aloha. Also up on the North Shore, we have Kenny Cannon. Thanks, Tim. The Northport, Ashroken, and Eaton's Neck area has been doing very, very well with schoolie striped bass inside of Northport Bay and over into Centerport. Huntington Harbor has been okay. Northport Harbor, from what I can tell, has been basically a, a, a ghost town. I mean, there's nothing. I'm up there every day, and I don't see anything going on at all. As far as the fluke fishing goes, um, I've been boatless for the past week because I put my foot through the floor of my boat. Happens, I guess. Um, especially on older boats. So that's being fixed. So hopefully we'll be back in the water uh, this weekend. I have been catching some fluke off the local beaches, though, facing the sound. Bucktail, gulp on the bottom, popping it quick. Just got to fish through the sea robins. But for me, that's no problem because I don't eat fish anyway. So as long as they're biting and fighting, I don't really care what they are. So this weekend, focusing on the schoolie bass inside the harbors um, and inside the bays. And also hopefully having my boat back in the water so I can fish that Ash Roken Beach area for fluke over to Crab Meadow, uh, over in front of the stacks, and also out into the Triangle. That is it for this week from the Northport, Ash Rogan, Eaton's Neck area. I hope everybody here has a wonderful week, and we'll see you next week. Back to you, Tim. This week's surf report is from Vincent Cagnina, who fished the South Shore this week. Hey Tim, this week I'm reporting from the South Shore and unfortunately fishing doesn't seem to be super consistent. Uh, Friday before this cool weather set in, I was able to get into a couple bluefish up to about 12 pounds, uh, but they definitely weren't here in thick schools yet. Um, I'm hoping with the warm weather coming this week that we're going to start to see that action over here at Smith's Point start to really pick up. Uh, tonight I came down for some blues and bass. Uh, didn't see a single bluefish get pulled up anywhere uh, before it got dark, even into the night, uh, but was able to get a, a couple pick of some schoolie bass on mag darters and SP minnows. Uh, with this weekend coming up, I think that the warm weather is going to get these fish way more active and we're going to see much more consistent fishing um, on both fronts. Now back to you. Let's go to senior editor Fred Galafaro. Hey, thanks, Tim. And yeah, the uh, Sunday in the first part of the week, it felt more like October than it did May. Uh, temperatures sometimes 20 degrees below normal for this time of the year. Uh, lots of east wind, rain, uh, really northeast type conditions uh, that we typically get in the fall. But uh, the good news is bluefish action has spread. Finally, uh, some bluefish action you know, this past week and uh, into the weekend in uh, Fire Island, Jones, uh, still fish in that Smith Point area. And uh, also a bunch of fish moved in, like that Sag Harbor area, uh, Peconic, Gardner's Bay. Uh, some good fishing reported there by Ken at Tight Lines. So uh, that's, the, that's the good news. And we still have plenty of small bass, plenty of school bass around. Uh, they're all down the South Shore. They're in the North Shore harbors and bays. Uh, Montauk has had uh, some really good fishing uh, over the course of the past two weeks, week and a half. Um, again, uh, on the weekend, Saturday uh, was very good. Saturday night was very good. Uh, all the fishing has been pretty much on the south side uh, in Camp Hero, from Ditch Plains through Camp Hero. And uh, who knows, really, there's nobody fishing the north side, so there could be fish on the north side as well. But, um, and they have had fish up into the mid-teens there. The, um, I've heard of a couple of bigger fish uh, starting to move to the east. Uh, heard of a 30 in the Fire Island area, a couple of fish in the high 20s uh, in the western bays. So uh, those fish are on the move. Up on the north shore also, Manhasset Bay, Hempstead Harbor, a couple of uh, bigger fish into the 20s. So uh, that's happening, and it's pretty much on schedule. Memorial Day weekend, normally uh, you start seeing some of those bigger fish being caught. Um, a lot of the fishing, especially with the school bass, has been on soft plastics and bucktails. 
uh, there is some action on, on top waters, on poppers, and at night it's been mostly swimming plugs. If you're going to be fishing uh, anything with treble hooks, whether it's poppers or swimming plugs at night, um, consider uh, outfitting your plugs with single uh, inline single hooks. Or what you can do also is, is just simply take a good pair of cutting pliers and cut at least one of the hooks off the treble. Uh, that can make a big difference and absolutely crush the barbs on your treble hooks. Uh, it'll be a lot easier on the fish and if you end up with a hook in your hand you'll really appreciate uh, the value of having crushed barbs on your plugs. If you're fishing bait, especially if you're fishing clams, there's no excuse not to be using circle hooks. Uh, for clams, you can use a smaller hook, 5-0, 6-0 circles. Uh, if you're going to be fishing bunker chunks, you want to go up to a 9-0 or 10-0 circle. Uh, but, uh, you yeah, really, really consider, uh, even though it's not the law that's been talked about making circle hooks a requirement for bait fishing, uh, we should be smart enough to do that on our own. Um, uh, I have some dates for you for the Montauk and South Shore Classics. The Montauk Classic is going to be September 20th through the 22nd. The South Shore Classic, October 25th through the 27th. And what we're doing this year, we did move the South Shore Classic back. We're going to run it in conjunction with the Babel and Surf Cup. Uh, that's going to give uh, participants in the South Shore Classic uh, some expanded access. And also, uh, we're going to combine the award ceremony. So we'll have the award ceremony for both contest there, and I'd suggest you enter both both tournaments. And it should be a good weekend, it should be a good time. Uh, congratulations too to Jeff Coombs. He won this past weekend's Jones Beach Bluefish Surf Tournament with a 15.16 pounder that he caught on a plug. Congratulations Jeff. Till next week, this is Fred Golafaro here for thefisherman.com. Our fly fishing report comes this week from Paul McCain. Hello Tim, this is your fly fishing report from Long Island. I have good news and I have bad news. The bad news is, with all this rain, all the ponds, all the streams are flooded. They're over their banks. But the good news is, all the streams and ponds are flooded and over their banks. That means there's going to be a lot of water in the system. So when, during the heat of the summer, when it's too dry, we can now have water. We'll have good fishing, hopefully right through the summer. Now, the people that know have been able to catch fish. Elwood Flies Bill has been fishing the Cable, cable Smith area and when using a fly of their own design, the Alberta Clipper, he's been catching. He said that he had a banner day last week on that river. Now, Tom, uh, Auto Tom has been fishing the Carls River and he's been doing very well using uh, San Juan worm patterns because with all this high water, worms are being washed into the stream and the fish are, fe are feeding on them. Now, I saw water. All the captains are calling in. in uh, Dave Flanagan from Northport. Andrew Dreyer from Greenport. Frank Mar Mariachi from uh, Long Beach. Uh, Captain uh, John McMurray, Tim O'Rourke, all around the island reporting. Stripers are here in the western part of the bays in Jamaica Bay. John has been reporting. Bluefish are now on the, on the top surface. So this is the time to get out there. Now, if you're thinking of ever, ever thinking about fly fishing, River Bay Outfitters is offering a free introduction class into fly fishing this Saturday. All we ask is that you call our, our shop, 516-415-7748, only so I know how many bagels and bialis they have. Please join us. It's going to be a great time to get into the sport. The Fisherman just uploaded a new video on how to best use the Spro Bucktail and Gulp combo. Check it out on our YouTube page or follow the link at the end of this report. If you'd like to be part of our weekly video fishing forecast, we're looking for social media savvy anglers for hyperlocal reporting from around the New York metro and Long Island area. So if you're a captain, tackle shop, or just an avid angler, contact me at libayrat at gmail.com. For links and more information, be sure to check out this video's description on YouTube. Remember, like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and tap on the bell to be notified instantly when we post a new video on YouTube. And of course, be a subscriber to the Fisherman Magazine to be part of the Dreamboat Contest. Get out there, enjoy the upcoming weather. This is Tim C. Smith for thefisherman.com. Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evinrude Lowrance Grand Prize Boat Package, and more in the Fisherman's 2019 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details now.
at thefisherman.com.